Hey YouTube, this is Everything He Pan here, and yes, I'm finally back with a tutorial. Today we're going to be installing Windows 10 in VMware. I am so sorry for not uploading for um, like two months other than the Mad Libs video that we did. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. Um, I have not uploaded a tutorial for over two months, so um, I've just been lacking lately I mean yes school's going on but I don't like to think of that as an excuse because say um, this eventually becomes my job I can't have that become an excuse because it's basically this is like I'm working um, so I can't let school be an excuse yes school um, right now comes first but at the same time that doesn't call as an excuse for me to not upload for you guys so I apologize for um, not uploading any tutorials within the last two months um, I'm gonna try and upload as best as I can um, I know um, you guys have been suggesting some tutorials down in the comments of my videos and I'm gonna try and get to those um, as soon as possible but on today since I know this one will work um, we're just gonna do Windows 10 in VMware I already did a VirtualBox tutorial you can check that out as well um, so there will be links in the description for VMware and there will also be a link in the description for um, to download Windows 10 um, software um, and if the link doesn't work and I can always try and find an alternative link I cannot supply an ISO I apologize um, but from Windows 7 on up I cannot supply ISOs um, I just there's no possible way I can do that I don't because of copyright stuff um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and just start getting into the installation here. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up VMware. And v ugh, I can't even talk. VMware. And uh, we're going to create a, a new virtual machine. And I do have a ISO on a file here. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that up. Right, whoops, not Windows 95, Windows 10. And we'll do, I'm going to do the Pro 64-bit version here. Um, it says Windows 10 64-bit detected so click next and it's gonna ask you for a product key I don't think I wonder can you bypass this okay so you can manually activate um, later um, so you can type in the product key automatic here so you can do the easy install um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll be right back with you guys, and you can choose which version you want to install too. So there's even an education version, but we're gonna do Pro. So I'll be right back after entering in the uh, product key that I have. Okay, so I just continued with that one, but uh, you can name the machine whatever you want, and go ahead and click Next. And then I am not making this 60 gigs, no way. I'll make it 25 gigs, and we'll store this as one single file so it's easier to manage. Go ahead and click Next. And then um, you can go ahead and customize your um, hardware here so that you can have more uh, RAM dedicated to this. So I'm going to actually dedicate 4 gigs of RAM to this out of my 16 that I have. And uh, we're going to click close. And then go ahead and finish. And it's going to power on the virtual machine here. So it's going to go ahead and create the disk. This is 25 gigs. So I think it's going to create it all at once. I don't think it does the uh, management system like VirtualBox does. So we'll let this create quick and I'll be right back. All right, so now it's finished creating and it booted up and uh, we're getting the Windows 10 bootloader here. And it'll load up and it'll say setup is starting. We'll do the Windows setup here. So now it already goes through the installation for you. You don't even have to do anything if you do the easy install. It'll do copying, and then it'll say getting ready for or getting files ready for installation, and it'll install features and updates and finishing up. So just like a basic normal Windows 10 install. And um, I know somebody commented in uh, one of my um, past videos. I think it might have been my um, Q and A number two ask questions video. Somebody asked if I should if I can uh, install Windows 10 on actual hardware on like a not like VirtualBox but on an actual PC. If I had an extra PC laying around that I can install Windows 10 on, I would. Um, I can't install it on that Sony Bio PC. That's way too old for it. Um, 
the only thing that I could get up to is Windows 7. I can't even install Windows 8 on that thing. Um, but, I mean, I guess I could put, like, another hard drive in my computer and install it or something. I really don't know what I can do. But uh, speaking of that questions video, I think I'm going to be able to record a Q&A video this week. And after three months, I might be able to get it out. That just literally shows of how much I've been slacking on YouTube videos. I haven't uploaded a Q the Q&A video for three months after asking questions from you guys. So I'm going to make sure to do that. So I'll do that um, on the Q&A. I hope I will record this and get it out within the week. Um, I'm still, if I, if I ever get to this point, I'm going to still upload every other day. I just, every day, I just... I would love to, but I would run out of ideas way too quick if I did every day. Every other day has been going real well, so I'm going to keep doing that when I get the chance if I keep doing every other day. So I'm going to go ahead and let this installation go through, and I'll be back with you guys once it's uh, restarting. So here it's getting ready to reboot. It said restart now, and it did the countdown, so now it's going to reboot and load up the bootloader again. And hopefully it's not reloading setup because this might be what some people might want to happen what might happen to some people you can tell I haven't done a video in a while I can't really talk but um, after it reboots it's going to go into the second part of the setup here and um, kind of just go through some basic steps so um, see you guys when that's up so here now it's going through the process of setting up Windows 10 for you and uh, this it says it won't take long but we'll see what happens here um, I think it started about a minute or two ago and I missed it so uh, uh, we'll see how long it takes it's 109 right now so we'll say it started at 108 um, we'll see how long it takes okay so it came up with the login here but I'd never really assigned a password to this so I don't know if this is glitching right now but I think it says signing in in the background you might be able to see that um, if that happens just don't worry just kinda let it do its thing and it'll sign you in there was no password so there we go Windows 10 um, is running right here we got our full copy of Windows 10 of course not activated because of the product key um, but if we uh, go ahead and uh, go to say the control panel um, I can show you that this is the um, of course the control, control panel is not coming up here if I go to control panel and system it'll tell you that it is uh, Windows 10 um, so yeah there you go guys um, that is how to install Windows 10 in VMware thank you guys for watching um, be sure to stay tuned for future videos whenever I can upload um, hoping to get uh, Q&A number two out and also we did film another dirty Mad Libs challenge and I actually laughed this time um, so you'll see that in the next video, I think. So um, this one's going to be coming out today. And um, the Dirty Mad Libs Challenge will be coming out um, in a couple days. So be, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for Q&A number two as well as other tutorials. And speaking of other tutorials, please comment ideas down below if you have any tutorials that I um, you think I should do. So be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Um, comment your ideas down below, and do not forget to subscribe. We are nearing 3,000 subscribers. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.